Well, just got here to the boat launch at Turtle River. Uh, it's funny. I just drove through a whole bunch of flurries and it was looking pretty miserable, but the sun is actually peeking through, which is pretty nice. So hopefully it stays this way as much as possible. I know this whole trip isn't gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be a lot of snow and cold and stuff, but starting out, I'm at least starting in some sun. So yeah, gonna load up the canoe and all my stuff and then park the car and I'll be on the way. Here we go, seven day trip, White Otter Castle via Turtle Creek. Well, I'm coming up to the first portage. Um, I think this is Twin Rapids, I think it's called. There's one rapids kind of down there and there's another one up here. I've brought everything over already. And uh, there's actually a pretty nice campsite right here. So this is only like, I don't know, 45 minutes or so canoe from the Highway 622. I decided to give Coda a bit of exercise. There she comes. Good girl, Codes. Just taking my first break. Um, I'm I think about halfway to the port, the, the uh, first big 600 meter portage that goes over to Smirch Lake. Coming up on portage number two, you can start to see the rapids there in the distance. I'm not sure where this portage is. You should be able to find it. But holy smokes, it's been a rough paddle through that, through that channel. It's nice when it's uh, calm like this. It's, it sure is nice to be out here on the, on the river. Second portage around the High Cliffs Rapids or something. Uh, probably about 300 meters, maybe a little less. Not gonna lie, I'm about halfway through the portage and I definitely decided I needed a break. And uh, part of the portage actually included me basically, can, not quite canoeing, but like pushing the canoe through that swampy area. But we're getting there. We're almost at Smirch and then it's a hop, skip and a jump to the island where I'm targeting landing up for the night and uh, we'll get to your dinner. Got through it and I'm feeling great because I have the really hard part of today behind me. Just a super quick paddle um, downwind on Smirch Lake to what I'm hoping is gonna be a really cool campsite um, on the backside of an island there. So I'll update you on when I get there and got a bit of a second wind right now and I'm looking forward to a big meal tonight. Home sweet home. Day one, been a long day, but we're finally here, Coda. So the question now is going to become, where is the best spot to set up the tent? Well, I think I might have found the campsite area. Downside is it's like probably a kilometer and a half away from where I, maybe not quite that far, but pretty far away from where I left the canoe. So anyway, I'll have to paddle back over here First, I guess, walk back, but yeah, this is awesome. Sheltered, there's stuff. <laughs> and uh, somewhere to weather the very cold night ahead. And it's already getting close to sunset, so I gotta hustle to, uh, cause I didn't really have lunch. I had a soup and a couple of granola bars and stuff. So I definitely burnt a lot of calories today and I'm gonna have to eat a lot of food it takes a while to cook that food, so I want to get going before the cold sets in too much. So, I'm going to focus on getting back to the canoe as fast as I can. 